This video shows how to manage application development across multiple Exadata Express instances using Developer Cloud Service. In Developer Cloud Service, I'll create a project with an optional Git source code repository to which I will upload the connection credentials for my development and production Exadata Express instances. I will build a Hudson job with SQL CL steps to export an application from the dev instance and import it into the prod instance. This is a simple example. In a real environment, you'll likely have multiple Exadata Express instances for development, testing, QA, production, and so on. In my Exadata Express dev instance, I used the App Builder theme roller to change the sample database app's background from blue to red. For my simple example, I will use Developer Cloud Service to orchestrate the advancement of this modified app from my Exadata Express dev instance to the prod instance. From the Exadata Express Cloud Service console, I downloaded the credentials zip files from my dev and prod instances to my local computer. SQL Developer is an Oracle Developer IDE for creating and executing SQL and PL SQL scripts. I used SQL Developer to clone a local Git repository pointing to the Git repository of my Developer Cloud Service. I added and committed the two credential zip files to the local Git repository, and then pushed them up to the remote Git repository in my Developer Cloud Service. In my Developer Cloud Service code page, I now see my dev and prod credential zip files. I create a new build job in Developer Cloud Service. First, I go to the Configure page, select the Source Control tab, and specify Git as the source control. I point to the Git repository to make the credential zip files accessible to the build job. Next, I go to the Build Steps tab, and from the Add Build Step menu, I select Invoke SQL CL as the type of build step. My first build step will use SQL CL to export the sample app from my Exadata Express dev instance. I specify the Apex host schema username and password of my dev instance. I don't know the system generated password for the Apex host schema of my dev and prod instances, so for each instance, I go into the Apex SQL workshop to change the password to one that I will know. Back to the Developer Cloud Service build job. I point to the credential zip file from my dev instance. I specify the default DB Access Connect string. For my source code, I could specify a SQL file, but in this example, I've entered a SQL statement to export the dev sample app to a SQL file in a temp folder. I create a second SQL CL build step to copy the modified app from dev to prod. I specify the host schema username and password of my prod instance. I point to the credential zip file from my prod instance. Again, I specify the default DB Access Connect string. My source code does two things. First, it sets the Apex workspace ID for my prod instance PDB, because the default workspace IDs are different between dev and prod PDBs. Then, it executes the exported SQL file to bring the modified sample app into my prod instance. I can easily find the workspace ID of my prod instance by opening its app builder, opening the help drop-down menu, and selecting About. The About Application Express dialog shows the workspace ID. Before I run the build job, let's check the sample app in my target prod instance. It's showing the app's default blue background. My build job should copy in the updated app from the dev instance, in which I changed the background color from blue to red. Back in the Developer Cloud Service, I click the Build Now button to execute the steps. A progress bar will show the build job's progress. When the build finishes, a check mark indicates the build was successful. I can view the console output to check the build execution. Here we see the console output. Now let's go back to the sample app in my target prod instance. 
and now we see how my Developer Cloud Service build job orchestrated the promotion of a modified app from my Exadata Express dev instance to the prod instance. For more information, go to cloud.oracle.com database.